James Cameron said this. He said that what I was doing with Avatar was more in response to the history of the human race that has been written in blood by technically and militarily superior people taking from those who are less capable. He said that I think it's important for people to see the patterns in history. And I think that science fiction is a way of making history exciting by putting it in the future and taking you to a new planet and showing you exactly the same stuff that's been happening for the last 2,000 years. See, science fiction is a form of, of, of cognitive dissonance, mental disengagement, separating you from now, putting you either in the past, or putting you in the future, and telling you the same old stuff. Cameron went on to say the science fiction is excellent for that because if you make a comment about the Iraq war, and American imperialism in the Middle East, you're going to get a lot of people ticked off at you in this country. But if you do it in a science fiction context, where you do it at a metaphorical level, the people get swept in by the story, and they get to the end of the movie before they realize that they've been rooting for the Iraqis all along. All right? That's agitation propaganda. That's anti-military. He couldn't just come out and do it. He had to find a covert way of delivering that message. We could have built a new crypto in this squalor, but you chose the humans over us. I exist only to protect crypto. That is the sole purpose for which I was born. And every action I take, no matter how violent, or how cruel is for the greater good of my people. You led us here, Captain. And now it's within your power to save what remains of your race. You led us here, Captain. And now it's within your power to save what remains of your race. And now it's within your power to save what remains of your race. Optimus, all I ever wanted was the survival of our race. You must see why I had to betray you. You didn't betray me. You betrayed yourself. Optimus, all I ever wanted was the survival of our race. You must see why. I had to betray you. You, Optimus, all I ever wanted was the survival of our race. You must see why I had to betray you. Earth, birthplace of the human race. A species much like our own, capable of great compassion and great violence. For in our quest to protect the humans, a deeper revelation dawns. Our worlds have met before. security lies in preemptive attack. We will fight terror with terror. Now the hostiles believe that this mountain stronghold of theirs is protected by their their deity. And when we destroy it, we will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep that they won't come within a thousand clicks of this place ever again. Destroy it. 
We will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep that they won't come within a thousand clicks of this place ever again. We will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep. We will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep. We will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep. We will blast a crater in their racial memory so deep that they won't come within a thousand clicks of this place ever again. Look, you're supposed to be winning the hearts and the minds of the natives. Isn't that the whole point of your little puppet show? If you look like them and you talk like them, then they'll start trusting us. We build them a school, we teach them English, but after what, how many years? Relations with the indigenous are only getting worse. Yeah, that tends to happen when you use machine guns on them. Right. This is why we're here. Unobtainium. Because this little gray rock sells for 20 million a kilo. That's the only reason. It's what pays for the whole party. It's what pays for your science. Comprendo?